You have seen him on the big screen. Once that suit's on, Tony Stark transforms into the superhero Iron Man. But not all superheroes live in the movies. Well, this week, a real-life Iron Man suit made at the Colorado School of Mines will debut in a new Discovery Channel series. Denver 7 Chantal spoke with the students who spent months working on their dream project. Iron Man kicked off a universe of superheroes on the big screen like the world had never seen. So while visiting Colorado School of Mines last year, Discovery Channel's Adam Savage toured the school with Professor Craig Bryce and saw an opportunity. Ask Craig, would you would you 3D print me an Iron Man suit for my, my new show? And Craig, he of course couldn't say no. They even got the files for the specs from a high-powered source. Marvel gave the actual Iron Man files, like the 3D CAD files, over to Craig Bryce, and then he actually sent those out to get 3D printed out of the titanium. Jarvis, how many pieces are needed to make a fully functioning Iron Man suit? 250 pieces for a fully completed suit. That sounds like a lot. How long is that going to take? Estimated completion is nine months. Is there any way it can be done faster? With the help of students, it can be done in three. That sounds much better. Savage and then Tony Stark. Tony Stark's like, He's fiction, but Adam Savage is the real deal, and those two coming together, what? They worked together to complete the suit. These here would be part of a shoulder piece up here. But it did need modifications from the engineers to give it true power. In terms of modeling something that a superhero would want to wear, we did it. Savage Builds premieres this Friday on Discovery Channel and provides viewers with something they'll truly marvel. I think they fly it. I believe he has some jetpacks that are strapped to his his body. Spoiler alert, it totally does. It legit works. Something even Tony Stark would be proud of. Yeah, what do I do now? How am I going to top this? It might take something heroic, but clearly this group accomplished their end game. It was quite a ride. Sean Toll, Denver 7.